Okay, so now we're on to our first proper boss stage. This is the end of the level 50 quest chain. We have Azul Magia. There is an achievement for him, and for this, we need to complete the stage in the ideal completion time, so 7.15. We need to do it while taking zero damage, without healing any damage, and then we need total mastery, which means we need elemental mastery. So we need cast spells aspect to all six elements. So we need at least one of each element. And then we also need one of each of the physical damage types, blunt, piercing, and slashing. So again, that's no damage. Cast one of each element, one of each physical type. Do it quickly and don't heal. So let's grab some spells to do that. We already have a lightning and an ice. So let's grab a fire. Anything works. It really doesn't matter. We're going to grab a wind. Uh, we're going to avoid primal spells entirely. I want to show that it can be done without that. We need an earth. We'll grab plane cracker. And we're going to grab a water. We'll just grab water cannon. Okay. And... Recall that we also need piercing, slashing, and blunt. So abyssal transfiction is our piercing. We need a slashing. So let's grab sharpen knife. And we need blunt. So let's grab flying frenzy. Now, one other spell that we want to grab to make this safe is loom. We technically don't need it. We can cheese by finishing with a sting, but... Oh, did I click off? I'm so dumb. I clicked off my slashing and my blunt. Flying Frenzy. I also clicked off my water cannon before by accident. And we're going to grab a sharpened knife. Okay. Pardon that. We're going to grab Loom. As I was saying, we can finish with sting. I don't like finishing with sting. I want to show that it can be done without that. But let's drag all these spells onto our bar. So we have Ram's Voice. We have Abyssal Transfiction. Let's put Sharpen Knife and Flying Frenzy. Now we need Water Cannon, Plane Cracker, Sonic Boom, Flamethrower. So let's see. What are our elements? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have our three damage types. Okay, cool. We're going to hop in and we're going to do this. We're going to open up with a Song of Torment. And Azumagia puts on Ice Spikes in the first stage, which prevents us from doing physical damage. He does the Ram's Voice. Now, my Plane Cracker obviously just missed, but it doesn't matter. There's our Flamethrower. There's our Ram's Voice. So we've now done all of our elements. So now we just focus on killing him. And it really doesn't matter if you hit him or not. It just matters that you cast it. We're going to refresh our dot. It's going to do plane cracker. This is a weird pattern, but you'll see. Just make sure to sidestep these. It's going to be donuts. There's a ram's voice. Get out. And there's a dragon's voice. So we get in. Refresh our dot one more time. He's going to do another plane cracker. That's no problem. So that pattern is pretty tricky because he does the apocalyptic bolt too. Or apocalyptic ray or whatever it's called. But we still made it. And there's the ram's voice. So in the second act, I am going to start with a Song of Torment just for extra damage, but then he puts up Repelling Spray, which means we cannot do magic damage. Here I'm going to use my Flying Frenzy. 
So now I've used all three damage types. I'm just going to use Blazing Angon. These do not die to magic damage, but as you can see, one Transfiction does kill them. And now we're just going to come back to just stabbing him. Ram's voice means we have to get out. And Dragon's voice means we need to get in. There's Apocalyptic Bolt, so we'll just keep dodging that. No problem. Now, in the third act, we need to keep track of Repelling Spray versus Ice Spikes and act accordingly. I'm going to open up with a Song of Torment. You can see it's Repelling Spray. So for that, we go physical first, using Transfiction. It's going to do Ram's voice, so we get out. Dragon's voice, so we get in. Apocalyptic Roar, so we just dodge that. Now some weird stuff's going to happen. He's casting Charybdis. You can see there's going to be a bunch of tornadoes. Oop, don't want to get hit by that. Visibility gets really crappy here. And he's going to cast Web. Now here is where I can loom. Or I can Flying Frenzy. I think I might have hit myself with a Charybdis here. Nope, just barely didn't. He uses Ice Spikes, so now we have to switch to Magic Damage. Well, that's no problem. There's a plane cracker. You can see it's very spicy now. Visibility is really rough. He's doing another plane cracker. And this is the triple plane cracker roar combo. And there we go. And if we look, we got perfect blue. We did it in four minutes and 37 seconds. So we had about two and a half minutes to spare. No primals, just using what we needed to keep him casting. Can shave off even more time if you sting, but we didn't need to.